Happy Halloween, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Shadows of the Damned. So, Johnson, do you eat eyeballs too? Perish the thought. It just so happens I'm a fruitarian, thank you. And then you get the strawberry. <laughs> Hooray, puzzle solved. Really? Like, what's the deal, Willy? Really? Oh, what is that? Oh! These human hearts let you withstand the darkness longer. I'm not even going to ask how that makes sense. Nope, wrong way. There are going to be a fair few sections like that where you just have to run through the darkness and, you know, find your way through the little mini maze. So, uh, does Willie always take a big smoky dump in public? Yeah, <laughs> you should see him piss. At least we can keep track of where we've been this way. Yeah, we'll check the poster. Do what's right. Lock away the light. And lock it tight. Demons can't stand light. Gotta put it all somewhere, you know? Barrels. I can see they gave the problem a lot of thought. Yep, light barrels. They are the obligatory exploding barrel of this game. Uh, at least the game kind of does a better job of explaining their existence than most video games do. Now here's a fine mess. These demon pubes are blocking the door. Hey, look up there. There's a switch glowing the same color. Hold on. What? Where else have we seen that color? You reckon taking a walk on the wild side might bring this whole situation into perspective? Um, by the way, I know the Johnsonpedia there keeps popping up in the left-hand side. Um, we'll take a look at that real quick. So the Johnsonpedia keeps track of everything in this game. He's kind of our codex, I guess. So controls for the things that we've unlocked. We still have a fair ways to go. Um, things in the demon world here. So red gems. We got the soul boosters, the darkness vines, which are attached to dark cores. So, any sort of mechanics or whatever, we can get a little refresher there in the game. Um, I don't think we're going to need to look at that very often, or ever. So yes, these things can't really interact with them. Let's have a look at the switch yes, from thank inside you, Johnson. the darkness. Um, if we step into the darkness, however, changes color and you can see the little red like wire, I guess, that's linking it to that gate there. I fucking hate puzzles. Well said, Garcia. Well said. What do you want? You want a brain. Yep, so we're gonna have to deal with those dark cores a fair bit going forward, too. Hola. Okay, there's our brain. Please, Angel, wait for me! Hijo de puta! <laughs> Cute trick. Oh, this game. Like I said, the whole Silent Hill kind of messing with your brain sort of thing. Ooh, big gem. 
Not bad. That's where we want to go, right? Yes, there's the baby. Was Willie? Oh. Here we go again. So we're not doing that just yet. Goat. Nope. What's that fucker's fucking hand doing here? Um, it's his world. Nothing's out of Fleming's reach. He's literally got a finger in every pie. We're surrounded, G. Wait, we can use these barrels. They're filled with pressurized lights. They'll explode. Like I said, exploding barrels. There we go. <laughs> One more. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Over there! The door! Yeah, before we do that... Loot the place. Ooh, red gem. Very nice. Um, what do we want? Speed up how quickly we can charge our melee attack. More HP. Boost the rate of fire. Size of the light shot. And how long enemies are stunned when they get hit by it. Mono cushioner, just the reload speed. Can't boost anything else, at least not yet. A boner, damage, reloading, speed, and capacity. Honestly, I think damage is just the way to go here. Go. Um, this game has one serious issue, one big problem, which is everything, or most things in the game, are one way. So you can't backtrack and collect any items that you missed, like these red gems. Which is really unfortunate. It's probably the biggest complaint people have about the game. Oh, hello. And I agree, it is a bit frustrating to miss out on upgrades or secrets or even just like those fun little movie posters that you can read. Just because the game doesn't want you to go back. It's a bit of a bummer, but what can you do? So yeah, there are going to be some agonizing decisions where I have to pick which direction I want to go next. The hell? Lovely. Severed heads. A lot of them. Yeah, a, a whole heck of a lot of them. Where did they even come from? Huh. Oh, Fleming, the only guy on the ballot. Don't any demons try to challenge Fleming? You know, like a coup? <laughs> yeah, right. Do you know what happened to the last demon who tried that? No. Neither do I, G. All they found was a shish kebab with two ears, two eyes, two kidneys, and two... Never mind. We interact again. Do we get something different? Nope. Okay. Someone is trying to bring down the house. Gotta 
just a bit of a demonic opera going on here, I guess. Ah, Fleming's Bloody Opera. The lovely Justine. Fleming likes opera. What? You thought he'd be the emo type? Ah, this game. Booze, some ammo. Uh oh. Get alert, G! That corpse is reacting to the darkness. Light this place up before it spawns more demons. Ooh, nice headshot. Yep, so that's our next fun little mechanic. Shoot you. Can doesn't do anything. Um, there's a sign here. Is this some kind of diagram? I don't know. You leave town for a few demon centuries, and suddenly there's all this amazing new technology when you get back. Yep. Yep, so these sort of glowy corpses here will spit out demons when it's dark. So that's a fun mechanic that we're going to deal with now. Ooh, what was that? Was that more uh, tequila? Yeah. Strawberry. Is that all? That was all. Uh, nope, one more. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is another one of those choices that we got to make, right? Do we go through that darkness there? Or do we go back here and use that strawberry, presumably on the little child door there? Which of these two do we think is the way forward? Because I have no idea. And odds are when we start actually progressing, we're going to close the door behind us, so to speak, and be trapped. Let's see, there's a one-eyed willy over there, too. I'm gonna go for the strawberry. Oh, hello. Okay, all right, good choice on the strawberry. Uh, I'm gonna go with some more HP for this upgrade. I love the... All of it on the upgrade screen here, when you use a red gem, it just goes to Johnson and he eats it. Ah, this game. Okay, once more, into the darkness. I'm glad I did that little uh, strawberry thing first. Human parts, another willy. Bookstore. Books, newspapers, and stationery. Alright. Bookstore of the Underworld. It's a fairly ominous looking area ahead there. I'm not sure I understand the outfit that she's wearing. Oh, dulcet tones. How lovely. Yes, kind of. What are those things on her legs down there? <gasps> oh, fudge! What am I talking about? This is what caused those tremors! It's a melody of death! Oh my god! Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
my god, 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 god. Why should I be afraid of a few puny earthquakes? What the hell? Are you afraid of that? Shit. I vaguely remember boss fights in this game really sucking. Like just being really unpleasant. It's nice Hello. to be noticed, huh? No! I'm guessing we need to shoot that red thing there. way there. Glad that didn't screw me up or anything. Oh boy. Back off, buddy. It was not too bad. Stronger demons require a constant supply of human blood, which they store in special repositories on their bodies. They're a source of great power, but also an exploitable weakness. Talk about wearing your heart on your sleeve. Oh, she's still singing up there. I had kind of forgotten about you. All right, well, that's the first boss down. I feel pretty good about that. I understand why brains and eyes are on the menu, but why do demons like strawberries? You don't know about strawberries? <laughs> They're demon fruit, G. Fleming's idea of a practical joke on the world of the living. They're made of ground-up tongues. That's disgusting. That's not the half of it. You thought Pop Her Cherry was just a figure of speech. Oh, why, why do you have to do this game? Um, yeah, you know what, this seems like a good enough spot to end things for the time being. We defeated our first mini-boss, or actual boss, I'm not entirely sure. So thank you all for joining me, and happy Halloween. <laughs>